Hi guys, so my name is Andrea and for today's video will be a little bit different because I'm going to be showing you guys my shared room tour with my baby and it's kind of different from my other videos because um, usually I do home decor and tear trays and all of that so I wanted to try something completely different and show you guys my shared room. I won't be showing you guys my side of the bed because it's a little bit cluttered i'm in the process of like fixing it so i'm gonna only show you guys her section her crib her um wardrobe her changing station and her diaper caddy so if you guys are interested in that please keep on watching subscribe like if you guys have any questions at all please let me know down below all right you guys so here is my small section for the baby nursery and I'm going to start off right by the door. <laughs> so right here, I have these two um, towels. So one right here, and then one right here, I have some hangers um, with some sleepwear. Okay, right, so and I have some couple of towels there. And right here, I have her diaper caddy, which I have some diapers there, and I have her lotions. The shampoos are in the bathroom, and some cream, and a hairbrush. And right here in the bottom, I do have towels and some bibs. And the bottom, I just have like some stuff for breastfeeding. And then coming up to her changing station, this little chalkboard that I got at Target, it was in the Target dollar section. And I thought it was super cute, so I went ahead and grabbed that. And I got this little photo album. I mean, not photo album, sorry. This little photo hook thingy at Burlington. And I just decided to hang some memories, bracelets from the hospital. And coming down here um, are her bows. These hooks and the rack, I got it in Ikea. I'll link it down below. And then I have some more bows, like the bigger ones at the bottom. And the bowls, I got them in Amazon. It came like, I would say in a pack of 13 or 14 with different colors. And I really, really liked how they look. Coming up here is her first drawer. I do have some diapers. And I have some miscellaneous there. Wipes. And then in the back, I have like stuff that you get from <clears throat> um registries i have some more bowls here um a beach hat and then a, a cute little shoes i have right here some socks and these socks you can fit into them my baby's currently four months by the way so we haven't used those yet In her second drawer is her six months clothes. Uh, Carter said six months and she's in this size right now. So we're using this section. So I have some pajamas right here, which some are washing. And then here's some onesies and outfits. In the last drawer are her nine months clothes. And we're not there yet, but I just wanted to organize it because I need to occupy the space so hopefully she'll fit into that in a couple of months so we go from pajama to onesies and then um, two pieces and that is our changing station so coming here is the little wardrobe and this is actually right next to the changing station and that's the crib so you open it and it's kind of a mess right now i'm sorry so here are her clothes and right now we're in this section and she started growing so fast that i need to start buying more clothes for her so we, i have it numbered with a little six to nine six to nine and then nine to twelve and here I have her shoes. She's not fitting into these right now. These are pretty big. I have a little bunny right here. I have some more shoes that she's not quite in yet. 
I have some little hats for pictures, some booties, and then right here I have some like cute, I mean, I have some toys that she really likes. Right here I have her books. I have some memory books that I have to fill out, um, some changing liners, and yeah, that's in the inside of the wardrobe. First drawer is all her um blankets. Um, this she was swaddled in the beginning, not anymore. But I do have some flannel blankets right here. In the second drawer, I have some of her pants, shorts, and then some liners again for the bed. Third drawer. So in the third drawer, I have a lot of blankets. Fluffy ones, squishy ones. Mm -hmm. So that's what I put in the third one. So here I have the crib. So when she does go to sleep, I do take the bunnies out. I just had that there during the day and then obviously I have this during the day and she is being put in here with her pajamas because she's been putting the soft blankets in her face and it gives me anxiety so I always took her in with this and I don't put no blankets at all and that is her crib bumper so yeah um, this is how I share my baby's room. This is how I share the room with my baby. And yeah, I hope this video helped you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope this helped you guys. If you guys are struggling right now with sharing a room or about to start sharing a room, I hope this video uh, motivated you, inspired you, and helped you with any concerns you may have the reason why i'm mostly recording this video is because when i was pregnant i struggled a lot in the beginning of my pregnancy because i was like where am i gonna put her crib like i do live with my mom where am i gonna put her crib where am i gonna put her clothes where am i gonna change her so i had to brainstorm a lot everything does work out in the end and i really hope this video helps you guys i'm gonna be trying my best to link everything i can down below if you guys um like some stuff that i had and i didn't link it please make sure you write it down in the comments and i hope you guys have a great weekend great day great week and if you guys like these types of videos let me know for i can keep doing them if you guys are interested as well as doing cook like cooking with me let me know because I like doing those too. I just don't record them. And yeah, see you guys next time. And please subscribe and like this video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.